The Amazon jungle spans over eight countries and covers an area of 6.7 million square kilometers. And while we have explored some of the jungle, there are still many mysteries left to uncover. This is a forest where the mysteries get deeper the further you explore. Every year, there are tons of discoveries made that shake the world of science. And well, it's happened again. Join us as we dig deeper into the terrifying discovery inside the Amazon jungle that defies all logic and what it might mean for the past and the future of the Earth. The Amazon jungle is an incredibly important part of the global ecology. It is estimated that it houses 10% of all known species on Earth, as well as a vast array of plants and trees that are used for medicinal purposes. The plants in the jungle also play a vital role in one of the most critical natural processes, the cycle of oxygen and carbon dioxide. The trees and plants in the jungle absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and release oxygen into it, keeping the air fresh for us to breathe worldwide. The Amazon also has a significant impact on the climate. It is estimated that the jungle absorbs nearly 2 billion tons of carbon dioxide each year, making it one of the largest contributors to global cooling. The heat-trapping canopy of vegetation in the jungle also helps regulate temperatures across the region, helping to prevent extreme weather events such as droughts and floods. The Amazon is also a major source of fresh water for South America, with its rivers and streams providing clean drinking water for many people living on its banks. These rivers are also a major source of food, providing fish and other aquatic animals that are important to local economies. The Amazon is an incredibly valuable resource, both ecologically and economically. It serves as a home to countless species of plants, animals and humans alike. Protecting it is essential for our continued prosperity and well-being. Without the Amazon, our planet would look and feel very different. But while the Amazon is the natural resource that it is, it's also a source for questions. Over the past couple of decades, researchers have slowly made their way through this incredible jungle and made discoveries that brought in more questions than answers. It might seem like these would be normal discoveries, but no, to leave the scientists of the world speechless, the discoveries have to be extra mysterious, and that's exactly what they've been so far. One of the biggest mysteries of the Amazon is the way it is. While from the outset you might just think that all jungles and forests are structured the same way, that's not actually true. There are many different layers to the Amazon, each with its own unique set of plants and animals. The underlayer is low in height and populated with shrubs, palms and vines. Above that, you'll find a variety of tree species, some reaching heights up to 150 to 200 feet tall. These trees form what's known as the emergent layer, one that's so tall that it literally breaks through the canopy of the forest. Finally, there is the canopy layer, home to a huge variety of plants and animals. What makes this layering so fascinating is that each layer has different species adapted to living in it. This means that if you were to look at an area of the Amazon as a whole, you would see an incredible array of biodiversity. This is why the Amazon is often referred to as the lungs of the world. It's home to a huge variety of species that help keep our planet healthy and vibrant. But if you look at it all individually, it doesn't add up. Normally, the areas that get more sunlight are the ones with vibrant life, both in terms of plants and animals. As you move into darker areas, forests tend to be drier and murkier, with mostly just camouflaged insects or other small animals being the majority. With the Amazon, the lower you go, the more vibrant things get. While there are some theories about why this is, no one knows for sure. It could be due to the fact that each layer gets its own unique set of nutrients and conditions, allowing different species to thrive in their specific environment. Although it's clear that things aren't exactly following the normal way of life here. Whatever the cause may be, it's clear that the Amazon has a fascinating structure, one that scientists around the world are still trying to unravel. Then we have the geoglyphs. Geoglyphs are large designs, patterns or structures created on the ground by removing rocks and earth. They can be found all over the world. Some of these geoglyphs date back thousands of years and were likely used for spiritual ceremonies or as astronomical markers. Others may have been used to mark important political or territorial boundaries. Most geoglyphs are very large and can span from a few hundred meters to several kilometers in length. Since they're created by removing stones and earth, either from the ground surface itself or from nearby quarries. This means there's often evidence of the tools used to create them, such as rock cutters or picks, but that doesn't make them any easier to understand. The ones we're talking about today are the geoglyphs found in the Amazon forest. Archaeologists in the Amazon rainforest have discovered hundreds of circular earthworks that date back thousands of years, but the purpose behind them remains a mystery. These geoglyphs cover roughly 13,000 square kilometers in the Acre state of Brazil and were hidden beneath the trees for centuries until deforestation made them visible from the air. 
The research team, led by archaeologist Jennifer Watling, used technology to reconstruct the region's vegetation and via history around two geoglyph sites. They found that humans had been altering the bamboo forests in order to create temporary clearings for building these earthworks. Other than the evidence of human alteration of the landscape, there were not enough artifacts to indicate that these were villages. The design of the geoglyphs also makes defensive or military purposes unlikely, leading researchers to theorize they could have been ritual gathering spaces. Watling said the evidence demonstrates how indigenous people manage the Amazonian forests without causing degradation, highlighting the importance of preserving their knowledge for creating more sustainable land use alternatives. The research is a reminder of the ingenuity and resourcefulness of these pre-colonial societies, which managed to alter the landscape without leaving any lasting damage. It also raises questions as to how much more knowledge from these societies we may have overlooked in our haste to exploit the environment. This new research is a reminder of the importance of preserving indigenous knowledge and traditions and understanding how humans have interacted with their environment over thousands of years. We can learn so much from these ancient societies and use them to create more sustainable land use practices in the future. But the true reason these were created all those years ago still remains a mystery. One that Watling and other researchers have tried to solve for decades but haven't been able to get a definitive answer to so far. One of the craziest unanswered mysteries, though, has to be that found in one of the lost cities discovered in the Amazon. In 2011, a team of explorers led by the world-renowned author and explorer Douglas Preston uncovered the lost city of the monkey god in La Mosquita jungle, Honduras. It was believed to have been abandoned by the Aztecs in 1520 due to an outbreak of flesh-eating disease, and after that, it remained untouched until the team's findings. The team's findings made headlines around the world, but an even more astounding discovery was when they contracted the same flesh-eating disease that had caused the ancient inhabitants of the city to flee centuries earlier. Astonishingly, this could mean that this deadly disease has been present in the Mosquita for hundreds of years. While it is still unknown how to combat the disease, their findings have been a major contribution to our understanding of the spread and nature of this mysterious illness. Preston later wrote a book about the team's experiences in this unexplored part of the world, giving readers an insight into this unbelievable journey of discovery. That wasn't the only danger they had to deal with. The team also encountered venomous snakes that had taken up residence in the city and narrowly escaped poisoning. They were able to take a number of artifacts with them, but felt it too dangerous to stay in the city any longer. What secrets does this long-forgotten city still hold? Will we ever know the truth about what happened to the Aztec inhabitants? Or did they all just randomly suffer the same fate as the researchers did when they stumbled upon the disease? Maybe the misfortunes that befell the team were the monkey god's attempt at striking back, or maybe they were just a warning to those who would come looking for its secrets. Regardless, it is sure to remain a compelling mystery for many more years to come, one that others might not be brave enough to approach to study further. While you could still somewhat make sense of a flesh-eating parasite, like maybe it was just a dormant virus that woke up when the researchers disturbed the site, there are other things that have been found that have led to questions about civilizations that existed in the past but left no trace. One of these mysterious findings was discovered in the 1950s in Guatemala. In the jungles of this country, a colossal stone head was found with unusual features, such as thin lips and a large nose facing towards the sky. It had Caucasian-like features that were unlike anything seen before from ancient civilizations around this time, leading some to believe it was created by extraterrestrial contact. The stone head was later destroyed by Dr. Oscar Padilla, a doctor of philosophy and ancient history enthusiast, who claimed it had been used as target practice by anti-government rebels. It wasn't until recently that the head was brought back into the spotlight when it was featured in the documentary Revelations of the Mayans 2012 and beyond, where it was claimed the photograph proved extraterrestrial contact with past civilizations. The region of Guatemala is famous for stone heads, but none are similar to the one found by Dr. Padilla, and many questions remain as to who created it and why it is there. It is unlikely that we will ever know the answers. Despite this, its discovery has certainly created a conversation around what else may be waiting to be discovered in the depths of our past. It might just reveal something that changes our understanding of world history forever. We've mentioned a few lost civilizations in the video up to now, but we haven't really gone into that much detail. So let's do that. With how massive the Amazon rainforest is, it's no surprise that we've uncovered several new civilizations that have been lost for centuries, including one of the most mysterious ones known as the Lost City of Giants. In 2012, a group of archaeologists was accompanied by some local guides in their mission to find this long-lost city. 
Upon arriving at the site in the Ecuadorian jungle, they discovered a set of large structures, with the largest being a 260-foot wide and 260-foot tall pyramid. At the top of the pyramid is a mysterious altar, believed to have been used for religious ceremonies or human sacrifices, giving it its ominous name. What makes this discovery even more intriguing are the artifacts found in the city, giant tools so large that it would be impossible for regular-sized humans to use them. This leads many people to believe that the city was once inhabited by giants, though this is still a matter of debate for archaeologists and experts today. Could we have it all wrong about the Amazon? Could it be that, instead of just an overgrown and mysterious jungle, this is one of the cradles of civilization in which giants once walked? We may never know for sure, but we continue to search. Who knows what other mysteries remain hidden in its depths? One thing is certain, the Amazon rainforest holds many secrets, and while we're still making more discoveries every day, the lost city of giants is certainly one of the most remarkable. It really shows that while we've come insanely far in terms of science and technology, there are still secrets that we just can't know anything about. Things that are lost to history, and without proper documentation and research, these discoveries might stay secrets for the rest of time. Another proof of prehistoric humans existing in the Amazon jungle of Costa Rica is the hundreds of large stone spheres scattered across the land. These mysterious artifacts range from 2.3 to 8 feet in diameter and are almost perfectly round, leading scientists and archaeologists to wonder what their purpose could have been and how they were crafted with the limited tools available at the time. It is thought that they may have been used in a religious context, but there's not enough evidence to support this theory. What makes these objects even more mysterious is the fact that their materials are not found locally, and yet no one knows how they were moved up hills and through the dense jungle to their current locations. The resources necessary for the production of these spheres must have come from far away, making their placement even more confusing. To date, no one has been able to explain why they were there and how prehistoric humans managed to craft them. It is truly a mystery that remains unsolved. Could the same giants who created the temple in the lost city be responsible for these spheres? What did they really mean? We may never know. The ancient inhabitants of Costa Rica left us with one more enigma to solve. It's up to us to uncover the truth behind these mysterious stone spheres, but from the looks of it, it seems as though this might be one more mystery that no one can get to the bottom of. Not all mysteries of the Amazon are lost to history. There are still tribes that live in the Amazon that have been there for centuries in isolation. They've never been mapped, never encountered modern technology, and still speak languages that are yet to be classified which makes communication with them impossible. The most isolated of these tribes is the Sentinelese tribe, who inhabit North Sentinel Island in the Indian Ocean. Believed to have lived there for 60,000 years, it is estimated that no more than 500 people live on this island. The Sentinelese tribe has resisted every single attempt of the Western world to make contact and has a reputation for driving away research teams with arrows and spears. But despite having no contact with outsiders, they still manage to craft metal tools and appear to be in good health. How this mysterious tribe managed to survive the 2004 tsunami that wrecked nearby, Antimin Islands is even more remarkable. It was assumed that they had perished in the tsunami, and yet, a helicopter flying very low above the island discovered that the Sentinelese man was still alive and well. Waving his spear, he gestured for the helicopter to leave. This incredible story of survival shows us how these isolated tribes can endure despite the odds. How the Sentinelese managed to survive without any help from outside is a mystery that may never be solved, but it is certainly impressive. Scientists are still baffled by how they've survived this long, but because of their numbers being so low now, it might just be possible that they would eventually become lost to history too, if no one's able to get close enough to communicate and find out everything about them first. The thing about the Amazon forest is, as we talked about at the start of this video, that there is so much diversity in the entire forest that the things that you find in one part of the Amazon would be totally different from what you'd find in the other. One of these is a terrifying discovery of the Amazonian Boiling River. Located somewhere in the heart of the Amazon forest, this river has lethal temperatures that can reach up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. It is so hot that steam rises from its surface and you would burn yourself if you got too close. The mysterious thing about this Boiling River is how it came to be. The most accepted theory is that a drilling company accidentally ruptured a geothermal system, releasing gases from inside the earth into the river. But the thing is, there hasn't really been any construction in the area, considering it's in the middle of a massive jungle, so that theory doesn't exactly make much sense. For those who live near this place, it's seen as a source of huge spiritual power. According to locals, they usually gather on its banks and sing songs and pray. 
There are even warnings along the river to prevent people from swimming in it, as it could be deadly. But the mesmerizing look at the forest makes people want to get up close to touch it, even though they shouldn't. It's no wonder why even hearing about this boiling river can be fascinating and breathtaking. Just imagine the panoramic view of a steaming river amidst the lush Amazonian forest. It's something that's out of this world, and while different scientists think they have just the right answer to explain why this river, in particular in the whole forest, boils, no one has really been able to prove their theory to be the real truth. This terrifying discovery has defied logic since it was first found, and to this day, no one seems to have all the right answers. The Boiling River might just go down in history as one of the craziest unanswered discoveries in the Amazon, or maybe it's pointing towards a harrowing future that we just haven't seen coming yet. What the real truth is, is something we're going to have to wait for more research to find out more about. And on that note, we'll wrap up today's video. What do you think about the Boiling River and the other terrifying discoveries found in the Amazon? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one for more discoveries and secrets that you wouldn't find anywhere else.